Perhaps this video itself is a sign, and maybe it was suggested to you because Allah wants you to finally start heeding the messages He sends you every single day. I'm going to teach you how to see and recognize Allah's guidance. Most Muslims don't know this, so they think their du'as aren't being answered because they expect a bolt of lightning to guide them or something crazy. Your du'as are being answered. You are being guided, and Allah has been communicating with you, but you've been looking in the wrong place. The truth is that Allah will communicate with you through the things that you see every day. In the Quran it says, and it is not for any human being that Allah should speak to him except by revelation or from behind a veil, or that he sends a messenger to reveal. Obviously, none of us will receive revelation, so we don't need to worry about that. So that means one way Allah communicates with us is through his messengers and their teachings, which includes the Quran and the Sunnah. But I want to focus on the second way since that's the one most Muslims neglect and that is Allah guiding us from behind a veil. All that basically means is that Allah will guide you without you directly seeing or hearing him. I'll use an example from the Quran. Qabil and Habil were two brothers and Qabil ended up killing Habil out of jealousy. He was carrying his dead brother, not knowing what to do with his body, until he stumbled across a crow, burying another dead crow. He realized that this was a sign from Allah, and he now knew what he had to do with his brother's dead body. And that's the reason we bury bodies to this day. Think about it for a second. Have you ever been outside and overhear someone say, Oh man, I need to pray more. Or you go to Jummah and the Imam is talking about dumping your haram girlfriend. You're hearing that for a reason, Akhi. Every minor detail in the universe was put in its correct place by Allah. Every grain of sand, every drop of water, and even you, you are where you are for a reason. You see what you see, hear what you hear, and feel what you feel because Allah wanted you to be there in that moment so that you may experience and learn. Muslims nowadays have completely abandoned the idea of being present. We get so caught up in the commotion of our daily lives that when we overhear the cure to finally overcome our issues, we are simply too ignorant to listen. Or even worse, in our arrogance, we find ourselves thinking about someone else saying, Ah, oh, I wish he or she were here to hear this advice. But Allah did not put them there. He put you there. If he wanted them to be there, trust me bro, <laughs> without a doubt they'd find their way there. But he put you there so that you may listen and so that you may learn. He will push you towards certain things and make them easy for you so that you may pursue them. Perhaps a certain career path or maybe even a sport. And inversely, when things are not good for you, he'll make it difficult. An example might be when someone suddenly pulls away from you and you don't understand why but it was because Allah knew that they were bad for you. Or your haram girlfriend's dad doesn't want you to marry her. So what are you doing, bro? I already told you to dump her. After you finish this video, just take a moment to observe as you go about the rest of your day. I guarantee you'll stumble across something, perhaps a conversation, a piece of advice, or maybe even another video like this. And realize that Allah wanted you to receive this message for a reason that only you and him know. Check out this video next, where I talk about how I made dua to defy all the odds in a short story that you'd probably struggle to believe. And please like, share, comment and subscribe. It does wonders for the algorithm so that small channels like me can grow to help more and more people just like you and I. I reply to almost every comment and less than 1% of my viewers are subscribed. So like, help me out, man, please. <laughs> I'll see you guys very, very soon, inshallah.